Hey folks, Tactile here with another video, Basics for True Flat Part 2, one pixel thick and a couple other angles. So here we are at the track. I had a lot more questions about True Flat after I posted this track on Reddit, so I thought I'd make another short video to show you the couple more things you can do with True Flat here. First one I'll show you is one pixel thick. To do that, start off by making a nice True Flat surface with your leveling block and then pull out your train tool. Make sure the deform speed is at 100 and the size is at 120. Once you have that, switch over to flatten and start flattening out from any of the surfaces. Once you get a couple voxels away, you'll see that it shrinks down to what we call one pixel thick. We know they're not pixels, but we like to call it that. And once it's stretched out, you can grab onto any part of that surface and flatten out from there and it will stay at the one pixel thick and the shapes, the sizes, is entirely up to you after that. You can do fences, guardrails, um, I did letters up on the track as well. So really just whatever you have the patience for. I'll make a, let's see, I make a space shuttle here. All right, that's, that's a lopsided space shuttle. Yeah, there we go, space shuttle. All right, one pixel thick. So yeah, that's how that works. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is the 22 and a half and the 67 and a half degree angle. And that one is really straightforward to get started as well. Take out your leveling block on a flat surface, pop it off twice, then get up on it here and flatten out the already flat top. Just make your train tool a little size a little bit bigger and that will force it to connect directly from the second voxel right down to the floor and give you that in this case a 67 and a half degree angle and then pick that surface, flatten out from there. And then I'll just put a 45 degree angle and a straight up angle here just so you guys can see the difference. Now the reason I don't use this too often is because it does not play well with others. You, you see everywhere the 45 degree angles and the flat angles, everything matches up really nicely, all the seams are really smooth. That's not the case with 22 and a half and 67 and a half. It's really wrinkled, it's not 100% consistent no matter how hard you try at times <laughs> and it's going to result in a lot of digging up your surfaces and making them new again because that angle is so easy to lose. So I try not to work with it but it's possible so I wanted to show you guys and there we go. So I hope you guys find that helpful and I hope you guys take that knowledge and go build something really cool and post it where I can see it. We'll see you next time.